Well, come on everybody. It is quarter to six in the morning. Yesterday I had a doctor's appointment and I got clearance to drive. So, we got two loads of corn to haul today. Ben's gonna do one load. And I'm gonna do the other. So we're gonna go ahead and get this truck running. But first, I wanna make sure the fluids are intact. I'm good to go for running. And then I'll check I'll check tires and the frame and all that stuff. Alright. Uh, a little full on cool it, but we're still up in the range. So I'll check all this other stuff out as I as I warm up, but This is exciting. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and find it up. getting up there so go ahead and push in my trailer brakes so I can then point the other back in the trailer. Alrighty, went ahead, got checked all my light, checked all my brakes, checked the frame, checked it basically checked kind of it over everything, just make sure we're all set and ready to rock and roll. Full air the lights are off in the shop. Six in the morning. This is how light it is. Like holy cow! It wasn't too long ago. I wanted to get uh, light for an hour and a half, but nope. We're, uh, we're ready to go. So obviously, I gotta mount ya. But I'm gonna plug my phone in. And, I, and I, my goal was to get on the road by 6 a.m. So... Unfortunately, we might be here a little bit. There's one truck dumping, and they got two more in line. So, yay! That that won't be enjoyable, but oh well. Oh, who knows? Might go quick. It might not. We'll see. Alrighty, so when you pull into an elevator to dump your grain, the first thing you gotta do is uh, weigh up. So, I'm pulling on the scale right now, they're gonna get my full weight. And then, I'll dump the grain. Then, I'll come back up, re I'll re-weigh. And then, I'll get my empty weight. And then, 
will be able to figure out how many bushels I have on. And then, depending on how many bushels I have on, is how much will get paid. So. Alrighty, I'm gonna go get my ticket and I'll be right back. Well, I won't sugarcoat it. I've been, I've been in line for an hour and ten minutes. But the guy in front of me is, uh, messing with his last hop on the trap door, so... Any second now we'll get rolling, and then I'll give this paper to the guy who is gonna do the probing. And then, cause most green elevators, they pull underneath like a manual probe that somebody operates the joystick, and they probe you. But at this place, there is, there is not that either. A uh, guy climbs up on a ladder and uh, has a manual probe that he shoves in there, so... That's what... That's how that works, so... I got I got a pulling position for him to probe, and then, uh... Then... I'm gonna let him clean the pit off in there actually. So now he won't be able to see this on camera guys, but I'm gonna look up and he just let's see I can show you in the mirror. Right there he's probing getting the sample grain he'll he's doing the front and then he'll move to the back. So far I got one truck behind me. So if, that, if Ben shows up and he only has to wait on one truck, then I should have waited. on the scale, get an empty weight. And by the way, just so you guys know, moisture came in at 13.7 and 60.3 pound test weight. So now I take this card to them and I get my actual ticket. Alrighty, I got my scale ticket and same situation, I got a truck behind me and it's a cattle pot truck. So I wanna I wanna get off the scale so that way they can weigh up. And then the last thing I gotta do is I gotta tarp up. I'm probably gonna take a leak because I'm not stopping until I get back home. And then and then I'm gonna take a picture of the scale ticket and I'm gonna send it to our group chat. 
and we have a steel ticket hoop jack going just in case the ticket we uh the ticket just in case the ticket uh gets lost so go ahead and just put this up real quick we'll be on our way all right we're back so you know i'm going 65 miles an hour down the highway you know i'm moving along this engine it's working so i'm gonna let that idle for a couple minutes i mean i got my skill ticket here just so i don't lose it i'm gonna go put that inside my truck and then i got a bunch of other stuff i'm gonna get out of my truck because i'm done trucking for the week now so i might as well clean the cat out a bit well, it hadn't gotten as much rain here as what I drove in earlier today, but got a nice rain shower here. I don't think it'll amount to a whole lot. Yeah, there is water stunt the pond in the field. That's to be expected, because that's all runoff from the drive, you know, on either side, but Here's what we're thinking, here's the status. So, we got a couple loads of soybeans to haul for June delivery, and then we just sold a bunch of more corn and for June, July delivery. And once that calendar date hit June, it then, okay, as you can tell, we got good moisture out there. So now it's gonna come out to be When's the field conditions going to be best fit? And then once they're fit, we go. They're talking some more rain, I think, early on next week and scattered throughout next week. That's okay. That's okay. So, but with that being said, I want to get all of our soybeans hauled that we need to haul next week done. And then we'll have a couple loads of corn to haul. So. <coughs> Oh, bless me. Uh, so I got, we're hoping, I'm hoping we can run soybeans with this truck and trailer. That that way we can backhaul rock for the drive. And then this truck and that trailer, we'll run, uh, we're gonna run cornwood. So, should be pretty well should be pretty doable but i also got physical therapy next week so we'll see how that goes but yeah that's the plan try and get as much corn and beans hauled as we can now and then when it comes time for planting and harvest we can focus on that so that's gonna be the goal Anyway, this is the truck that I'm gonna be driving next week with the corn husker. And there's a couple things I gotta do to it. Getting ready to haul. Starting with one, I gotta get fuel on this thing. So I'm imagine if I get time tomorrow or Saturday, I'm going to take this in town and get fuel. And then something else that we gotta do, which we're gonna do that right now, is we gotta slide this fifth wheel forward. So it was slick. You might ask, why was it slick? Why is it? Why would I slide it forward? Let me show you. So recently we ran, we ran this on the doubles, and we sort of had to slide the fifth wheel back. So that's that component right there, and we had to slide it back to get more distance from the double landing gears to these mud flaps because it's a lot I don't know how you say it it's a good term but it's a lot shorter of a face I guess so and everything's kind of compacted more together versus spread out so 
you need, you need the extra room. But now we don't need it. And I want to get more weight on my drive axle, or my steel axles, excuse me. That's my drive axles. That way, when it comes time for uh, so that way, I can have a little bit better traction on the road, I guess. You know, in dry conditions, you know, they're fine, but turning in a wet yard, loaded. Sometimes, you know, I'll have this wheel cranked all the way, and it goes straight. So, you want to have, I want to try and get more weight on my drive axle, on my steer axle. Excuse me if I can. So, that's the plan. We're going to get that steer axle moved tonight. Good night. Ah, I gotta quit talking. We're gonna get this, uh, this little slid tonight and then, uh, get fertilized and some corn tomorrow, hopefully. So, I want you guys to make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on this SFIY, still don't think. Out. I want you guys.